Becky. Hi, it's Nostalgia, and I also do DIY stuff on my channel. And today we're doing a pretty cool collab. I think you guys are really gonna love it. We're doing, we're calling it, it yeah. basic to beautiful, beautiful. or what do we call it? Tired to trendy, mm -hmm. or what was? Yours? I like mine. Yawn to yas. Or mine was <laughs> meh to a uh, messing. <laughs> If you guys can think of a better like punny from this to this, please let us know because we tried like all afternoon yeah, and we're like, sure. is this good? Is this funny? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, so what we're gonna do is take everyday items that you might own already or you might see around and make them beautiful, basically. On our channel, we're gonna be taking three fashion items. We're each gonna flip them into something cute. <laughs> and then on my channel, we're taking three home decor items and making them into something really cute. Adorbs. Yeah, so you're definitely gonna have to check out her video that we all did together as well after this. All right, let's go. For my item, I'm making this simple bag that we're going to add a fun word to, but in a way that you have not seen before. I started by writing out my word hello and spacing out the letters more than you usually might. Instead of sewing, painting, or drawing the word on, we're going to punch holes. With the Sharpie, I figured out the spacing of the holes. Starting at the ends of the letters or intersecting points, add dots and then fill in the gaps. Then I laid the template on top of my pouch and then used a pen to mark the holes onto the bag. Then using a leather punch, I punched the holes. Continue until you've punched out all of your points. This is a really unique way to customize a bag. You could totally do any quote like cute AF or goals. For my transformation, I'm taking two pretty plain belts and combining them to make one super trendy double buckle belt. Cut the first belt at the spot that would fit slightly less than halfway around your waist. Lay this on top of your second belt, but this time leave a few inches of overlap so we can glue them together. Cut this belt as well. Next, using some hot glue, super glue, or fabric glue, glue your shorter belt to the inside of the longer belt. Now you have a belt that fits almost all the way around your waist. To close up the belt, bring back the end of the belt we cut off. Buckle up one side of your belt to determine how tight it needs to be. Since this part probably won't have enough holes, add some extra holes with a leather punch. With the new holes, you can now buckle up the other side of the belt. For my DIY, I will be transforming this band tee into a trendy mock collar choker cutout top. Begin by cutting a deep V into the shirt. I used a ruler to assure the lines were straight by tracing them out. Cut out that deep V, but be sure not to cut out the collar of the shirt because you're going to need that. Then fold back each of the sides of your deep V and secure them down with hot glue to create a nice even line. For the last step, you will be using the cutout scraps of the shirt. Cut them into strips and then simply fold them over twice, securing them down with a little bit of hot glue. Flip the shirt inside out and attach them to the back of the shirt with hot glue. This will create the cutout effect. Once you've completed that step, you're all done with your new trendy shirt. Everything changes. I hope you guys like those fashion DIYs. Mm -hmm. They're pretty simple and you guys can do them quick times. And hopefully with stuff you already have here around your house because this is what's hard about a collab. We're like not in our studio, but we were still be able to whip these things together. Exactly, exactly. we tried exactly. to pick things that you guys would have already that you might just not even think that there's ways to make them better, and yeah. now there is. If you are here from Nostalgia's channel, we want to say a big hello, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe to them. Exactly, uh -huh. we do DIY content as well, so I'm sure you'll love it. And you guys need to go check out Nostalgia's channel. Um, amazing DIYs, like, so you'll love it. Too. You'll love them. I know our audience will love this. And go check out the collab that we did with her as well. There'll be a link to it and all that good stuff. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.